Dale Earnhardt Jr., most popular driver in NASCAR, I think for about 10 straight years now. How was your offseason? Man, mine was great. Had a lot of fun uh, hanging out with the family, going through the holidays and New Year's. Uh, got to do a lot of fun stuff. But uh, watched uh, you know a lot of NFL. Just yeah. I, mean, I was just being a guy. Your you know? Redskins were in it, man. They were in it. God. And then they were out of it. <laughs> You made a smart decision to step out of the car last year when you knew something wasn't right. Mm -hmm. Does that come with age? Would you have made that decision? It at, comes at with age. Three's age. Yeah, it definitely comes with age because I wouldn't have made that decision when I was younger. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you get older and you start to realize, uh, you know, how serious certain things are and you, you just become, you know, more intelligent about things and, and you make better decisions for yourself. You know, when you're young, 23, 24, 25 years old, you're just thinking about having fun. Was you know what is the next thing I can do that's going to be fun? That's what I want to do. Yeah. And uh, you know you're not really thinking about the the future or the longevity or or your long-term health. You have your own radio station now. They just mm -hmm. talked about it today. Dirty Mo Radio. What is this? Well, well, how's that gonna How's that gonna be? It's gonna be basically it's talk radio, just information, news. Right. What we're what 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 we accomplished the past week. What we look forward to in the future. It's a way to. Uh, sort of give our partners a little more bang for their buck. Our, you know, all our Good partners in German yeah. Sports, and it's a way for our fans to get information. Uh, if you look, if you anybody knows anything about the the Jerry Motorsports 360s, it's basically 360s without video. Yeah. Um, we're going to be able to, you know, just give you information. Fans want information, they, and it's, they're going to be able to get it on Mondays. Uh, we'll talk about everything that happened on the weekend. Talk about what we got coming up. Talk about some of the fun stuff we're doing, where we might be to sign autographs, right. or what kind of appearances we might be doing. Well, they'll just be able to, you know, get good insight. You know, something something that we're not doing right now. You know, something new. I know you couldn't say this the last couple of years, and, and, and the answer would be honestly yes, but, you know, and you probably could last year, but is this now a team that people have to beat to win the championship? Are you guys we got, one of the teams? We're one of the teams they're going to have to contend with. We felt like we really not only proved that to everybody else, but proved it to ourselves last year. Uh, we ran really strong week in, week out, real consistent every week. We'd start to show up to the racetracks thinking, man, this is, you know, we don't have to question ourselves anymore. We're, we're, when, right. we, when we go, we're thinking on Wednesday, man, when we go this weekend, we're going to be good. This is Now this is the kind of, we can start concerning ourselves with other details within the race and the strategy sure, yeah. of the race. So uh, I'm, I was real happy with how we progressed. Um, I just want, hope we can continue that same progression. Right. We got better from uh, 11 to 12. We want to get better from 12 to 13. And if, uh, you know, Steve and the guys worked hard in the offseason, we make changes in the offseason to try to improve the team. And he always makes the right choices.